Not long ago, I was trying to make a assembly helical pattern. I was having a hard time finding any information on the internet as to how to do that. There were some descriptions, but uh, I'm having a hard time finding something good. So I thought I'd just make a little video of how I ended up getting it done. This used to be in 09, uh, but now this video will be done in 2010. So I'm just going to start out with a tube. We'll uh, pick the front and make our tube here. And I'll try to do most everything on the screen so you can actually see what I'm clicking as opposed to hitting shortcuts or something else. Just make a six inch tube and uh, as always go mid-plane. Maybe 250 inches. Uh, quarter inch. All right, so here's our tube. Now the thing with the assembly pattern is you can't put a helical assembly pattern. So you need a helical um, profile in the part that you can then use in the assembly. So we are going to make an offset plane here that I'm going to use to start the helical pattern. Alright, and then we'll just grab a sketch, grab this geometry and convert it. Then we'll insert our curve here. And uh, I ran through this once, so actually the numbers are already good. 10 inch pitch, 10.3 revolutions. That should do it. All right. Now I'm going to create a surface feature that I'm going to pattern around. And the surface feature just makes sure I don't add any mass to the part and it's something I can hide. It's a body I can just hide without hiding the rest of the part. Um, Let's put in geometry similar to what we'll be dropping on this. All right, so now we've got that little surface there. That is what we will pattern around the helix. Curve-driven pattern, that's what's not available in the assembly mode. one of these, equal spacing, and we will do tangent to 
the uh, tube so that it rotates around and doesn't stay in the same orientation each time. We're just going to grab that little body. And let's see how that looks. That looks like what we want. All right. So now that that's there, we can save this. And we will go in and make our little paddle. I like the new center square. And we will save that one. And we'll make an assembly. We'll insert. Let's just lock that down. Drop the tube in on the origin. And we will grab a plate. Drop it in there. And just mate these two. Since I made that surface the same size as my plate, it makes it easy to uh, meet these up. All right, so there it is. All the work's already done. All we got to do is stick in the uh, feature-driven pattern, the component we want a pattern the driving feature in the tube, which is this curve. And you're done. So if this were turning around, material would flow off of one and onto the next. And what we like about uh, 2010 compared to 2009 is that we can take this now and just uh, pattern it or mirror it to the other side and everything is locked down whereas in 09 things still wanted to move around on you so we just need to select the first plate and the pattern There we go. And say OK. And there it is, both sides. Done the easy way. I can tell you, mating that would not be fun. So I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you again next time.